All right, well, speaking of Star Wars, the release of the new, possibly most highly anticipated film of all time, Star Wars The Force Awakens, will hit theaters in less than a month. Disney and Lucasfilm have just released a brand new TV spot for the film, showing us even more new scenes and footage. John, we know you didn't want to see any more spots for the movie, but what do you think of the new Force Awakens? <laughs> yeah, commercial? no, I was very open about this. I did not want any more trailers, any more spots. If this was not my job, I wouldn't have watched this new trailer spot. I can tell you this right now. Pull on your hats. It's a 30-second commercial. This is the best trailer they put out yet. This is absolutely the best trailer they put out yet, and it's only 30 freaking seconds. Everything, you know, we talked a lot about with the first trailer, the second trailer a lot is, you know, unlike a lot of the stuff that's come before it that was had the Star Wars name on it, didn't feel like Star Wars, this, more than any other trailer they've done so far, felt like Star Wars. I don't know if it was Boyega sitting in that iconic, legendary gunnery pit of the Millennium Falcon. I don't know if it was seeing that, hey, stormtroopers aren't just a bunch of buffoons anymore. They're actually lethal, deadly trained warriors pulling out what I can only assume is like some kind Arrow of blade. theatrical v version of a vibroblade or so their version of or whatever. Clearly... Boyega, because some people, there's been a little bit of debate. Wait, is Boyega, was he already a Jedi at one point? And then it began, clearly, if he's just fighting a stormtrooper and having a hard time with a lightsaber, he's not a Jedi. There's no way Boyega is a Jedi in any sense of the word. But that looked amazing. That whole thing of Solo with, you ready for this? Hell no. Like, I mean, maybe a little Will Smithy there, but I don't care. It worked. It totally worked. I loved this spot. I still don't want to see any more. Please don't make me see any more. But I, yeah, my feeling right now is this is the best spot they've put out, bar none, to me, my personal opinion. So I love it. Mark, you had a chance to see it. What do you think? I mean, it's, it's the Force Awakens footage. Of course I love it. I don't think it's the best thing they've ever done as far as Force Awakens trailers go. Maybe because it was only 30 seconds, but you're right. We got a lot in there. I like seeing that this ain't your daddy stormtroopers. These are brand new ones. They know how to fight. They've been trained in weaponry. And seeing John Boyega's character, Finn, meet Han Solo and see them to, at the precipice of an action scene was just so exciting to me because not only how excited you see Boyega to be in this movie, how excited Harrison Ford is to be in this movie. I just saw an ad with him this morning where he's he's advertising for a charity. He's like, hey, you can come meet me at the premiere if you win tickets. And like how much Harrison Ford is committing to this movie is unprecedented in his career. And he's been in a lot of movies, kids. So the one thing that I didn't love about this trailer as much as I've loved about the other ones was the choice of music here. It was very fast paced. It was actiony. I don't need all the neighborhood kids humming the Star Wars theme. I prefer the John <laughs> Williams, the classic score like we got in the more uh, the, the theatrical trailers as opposed to the TV spots. But this is the right way to sell this movie. Um, I enjoyed it very much. I, I think that the TV spots have been really good. Uh, I, I think that the, the, the theatrical trailers are still my favorite. Mm -hmm. I think the international trailer is actually my favorite so far. But this one was really cool because it did show that side of the stormtroopers of like, okay, let's we're not, we we can hit our targets now. Let's let's <laughs> let's fight. Um, but I really love the, the Han Solo scene because. It's Chewy in the background too. Like he's right. Chewy's like, "Come on, you guys, stop having your dialogue. Let's go." And then you, you, it's like the, the two vets that have been there before saying to the kid, "Are you ready for Star Wars?" And then he's just like, N "No, but okay, <laughs> let's go." Because he, I mean, it's it it said a lot in that trailer um, from what we got. But it, I'm with everyone. No more. Let's go. Let's. Just, we've, we're like less than a month away now. If they, it's crazy if they to say. Give me more. I'm watching it. I know? know we all will. Well, but yeah, it's like, of course we you But will, we don't yeah. need to anymore. No, it's. it's no. I, I will watch everything that they put. If they put half the movie out tomorrow, I'd probably watch it. But I don't want to see anything else. Let's just go. But you got to remember, like a lot of people haven't seen. That maybe that, I know that the trailers broke records on the internet and YouTube for how many people watched it. But a lot of people didn't see those theatrical trailers. So if you're watching TV and this is the first spot you see for the Force right. Awakens, it's a great way to sell the picture because there's new characters. It's clearly in the Star Wars universe. And then you see Han Solo and. Chewbacca at the end. Now, that, that Stormtrooper could light up that vibro blade and just trip over himself. Like, it'd be kind of <laughs> funny if he did, but I think these Stormtroopers are a lot more badass than we've seen before. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.